focus on holistic development of learners, building character and creating well-rounded individuals equipped with the key 21st century skills, including cognitive skills, manifestation of knowledge which is a deep-seated treasure within an individual, moving towards real understanding and away from the culture of rote learning, developing learners into good, successful, innovative, adaptable and productive individuals. Three strategies for holistic development of learners. Reorienting and revamping all aspects of curriculum and pedagogy. Identifying specific sets of skills and values across domains for integration and incorporation at each stage of learning. Developing curriculum frameworks and transaction mechanisms ensuring skills and values are imbibed through teaching and learning. Reorienting and revamping curriculum and pedagogy. Curriculum and pedagogical structure to be guided by 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 design corresponding to the age ranges of 3 to 8, 8 to 11, 11 to 14, and 14 to 18 years respectively. Foundational stage divided into two parts that is 3 years of Anganwari or preschool plus 2 years in primary school in grades 1 to 2 covering ages 3 to 8 will consist of flexible multi-level play activity based learning and the curriculum and pedagogy of ECCE which is early childhood care and education preparatory stage will include grades 3 to 5 covering ages 8 to 11 building on play discovery and activity based pedagogical and curricular style of the foundational stage introducing light textbooks and aspects of more formal but interactive classroom learning to lay a solid ground across subjects middle stage or upper primary stage will include grades 6 to 8 covering ages 11 to 14 introduction of subject teachers for learning and discussion of more abstract concepts in each subject emphasis on experiential learning within each subject and explorations of relations among different subjects secondary stage will include grades 9 to 12 in two phases that is 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 covering ages 14 to 18 building on subject oriented pedagogical and curricular style of the middle stage but with greater depth critical thinking flexibility and student choice of subjects option to exit after grade 10 and re-entering at a later stage to pursue any course in grades 11 to 12 reducing curriculum content to enhance essential learning and critical thinking curriculum content to be reduced in each subject to its core essentials for a more critical and holistic learning the mandated content will focus on key concepts ideas applications and problem solving teaching and learning to be conducted in a more interactive manner and classroom sessions to contain more fun and creative activities adopting experiential learning as a pedagogy in all stages experiential learning to be adopted including hands-on learning storytelling based pedagogy etc classroom transactions to shift towards competency-based learning 
assessment tools to be aligned with learning outcomes, capabilities and dispositions. Art integration education to be embedded in classroom transactions for creating joyful classrooms and to imbibe Indian ethos. Sports integrated learning to be undertaken in classroom transactions to help students adopt fitness as a lifelong attitude. Empowering students through flexibility in course choices. Students will be given increased flexibility and choice of subjects to study, particularly in secondary schools. No hard separation among curricular, extracurricular or co-curricular among arts, humanities and sciences or between vocational or academic streams. Subjects such as physical education, the arts and crafts and vocational skills to be incorporated throughout the school curriculum. Each stage of school education to consider moving towards a system that allows the inclusion of shorter modules. Multilingualism to be seen as a resource for learning. Wherever possible, medium of instruction until at least grade 5 but preferably till grade 8 and beyond to be in mother tongue, local, regional language. The local language shall continue to be taught as a language wherever possible. High quality textbooks, including science, to be made available in the regional languages. The three languages learned by children to be the choice of states, regions and students, of which two of them should be native to India. Efforts to prepare high-quality bilingual textbooks for science and maths to make students understand the two subjects both in regional language and English. Indian Sign Language ISL to be standardized and national and state curriculum materials to be developed for students with hearing impairment. Curricular integration of essential subjects skills and capacities. Certain subjects, skills and capacities will be emphasized in schools, such as innovativeness, oral and written communication, health and nutrition, wellness and sports, collaboration and teamwork, coding, moral reasoning, etc. Introduction of contemporary subjects such as artificial intelligence, design thinking, holistic health, organic living, environmental education, etc. at relevant stages. Increased emphasis on mathematics and computational thinking and activities involving coding to be introduced in middle stage. Greater emphasis on knowledge of India. Curriculum will include knowledge from ancient to modern India and future aspirations to be incorporated in an accurate and scientific manner throughout the school curriculum wherever relevant. Indian knowledge systems including tribal knowledge and traditional ways of learning to be covered. Specific courses in tribal ethno-medicinal practices, forest management, traditional crop cultivation, natural farming, etc. to be made available. Video documentaries on inspirational luminaries of India, ancient and modern, in science and beyond. Enabling children to embrace moral, ethical values in conducting one's life along themes of cheating, littering, equality, empathy, etc. Excerpts from the Indian Constitution to be considered as essential reading. Basic training in mental health, disaster response, etc. and scientific explanations of damaging effects of alcohol, tobacco and other drugs to be included in the curriculum. National Curriculum Framework for School Education NCFSE. The formulation of a new and comprehensive national curricular framework 
for School Education or NCFSE 2020-21 to be undertaken by the NCERT. The NCFSE document to be revisited and updated once every 5 to 10 years taking into account frontline curriculum. National textbooks with local content. All textbooks to contain essential core material on a national level but also include supplementary material as per local contexts and needs. States to prepare their own curricula which may be based on the NCFSE and prepare textbooks incorporating state flavor and materials as needed. Concerted efforts to be made to reduce the weight of school bags and textbooks. Transforming assessment for student development. Students to take examinations in grades 3, 5 and 8 to test achievement of basic learning outcomes and application of knowledge in real-life situations. The board exams for grades 10 and 12 will be continued. Board exams to test primarily core competencies rather than memorization. Boards to develop viable models of board exams such as annual semester modular system. All subjects to be offered at two levels where students can choose between standard and higher levels. Two parts exams or objective type and descriptive type to be conducted. Exam guidelines to be prepared by NCERT in consultation with SCERTs, BOAs, PARAC, etc. A 360-degree holistic report card that reflects the uniqueness of each learner to be prepared to transform assessment system by 2022-23 session. PARAC to be set up as a standard setting body for setting norms, standards and guidelines for student assessment and evaluation. National Testing Agency NTA, to offer common aptitude tests as well as common subject exams at least twice a year which can be used for university admissions. Support for gifted students or students with special talent. NCERT and NCTE to develop guidelines for education of gifted children. B Ed programs to allow specialization in the education of gifted children. Teachers will encourage students with singular interests and or talents by giving them supplementary enrichment materials and guidance. Olympiads and competitions in various subjects to be conducted across the country. Online apps with competitions, enrichment materials and online communities for shared interests to be developed. Schools to develop smart classrooms in a phased manner. Roadmap for implementation of curriculum and pedagogic reform. Development of national curriculum framework for school education at the national level. Development of model syllabi and textbooks in core subjects by the NCERT. Development of teacher support material and training material. Development of model course material and guidelines on language, culture, knowledge of India, etc. Guidelines for the education of gifted children in consonance with the policy perspectives. States, UTs to actively participate in bringing curriculum and pedagogic structural reform. Selection of themes and content related to knowledge traditions to be done with the help of teachers and teacher educators. Identification of new subject areas as per the state educational needs.